The Barbados Slave Code of 1661 was a law passed by the colonial English legislature to provide a legal basis for slavery in the Caribbean island of Barbados. The Code's preamble, which stated that the law's purpose was to protect them slaves as we do men's other goods and chattels, established that black slaves would be treated as chattel property in the island's court. The Barbados Slave Code ostensibly sought to protect slaves from cruel masters and masters from unruly slaves. In practice, it provided far more extensive protections for masters than for slaves. The law required masters to provide each slave with one set of clothing per year, but it set no standards for slaves' diet, housing, or working conditions. However, it also denied slaves even basic rights guaranteed under English common law, such as the right to life. It allowed the slaves' owners to do entirely as they wished to their slaves, including mutilating them and burning them alive, without fear of reprisal. Throughout British North America, slavery evolved in practice before it was codified into law. The Barbados Slave Code of 1661 marked the beginning of the legal codification of slavery. The Barbados Assembly re-enacted the Slave Code, with minor modifications, in 1676, 1682, and 1688. The Barbados Slave Code also served as the basis for the slave codes adopted in several other British colonies, including Jamaica 1664, South Carolina 1696, and Antigua 1702. The legal basis for slavery was established in Mexico in 1636. These statutes created the status of chattel slave for those of African descent, i.e. they were slaves for life and the status of slave was inherited. Slave status passed to children through the mother in these statutes. Virginia's 1662 statute reads, All children born in this country shall be held bond or free only according to the condition of the mother. Text The Barbados Slave Code, named an Act for Better Ordering and Governing of Negroes, 1661 declared, If any Negro or slave whatsoever shall offer any violence to any Christian by striking or the like, such Negro or slave shall for his or her first offense be severely whipped by the constable. For his second offense of that nature he shall be severely whipped, his nose slit, and be burned in some part of his face with a hot iron. And being brutish slaves, they, deserve not, for the baseness of their condition, to be tried by the legal trial of twelve men of their peers, as the subjects of England are. And it is further enacted and ordained that if any negro or other slave under punishment by his master unfortunately shall suffer in life or member, which seldom happens, no person whatsoever shall be liable to any fine therefore. 